What is up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nash and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to not be a broke college student, all right? Now, whether you're in college or you're about to go to college or you're about to graduate, this is gonna help you. About a year and a half ago, I was still in college, I was just graduating college and I was in college for about four years and I'm gonna be teaching you everything I learned and you know, now that I look back at it, I can really have a different perspective and um, yeah, so this is gonna help you. All right, so the first thing is gonna be alcohol, which is, you know, whether we wanna deny it or not, it gets really expensive and it adds up over time. If you are in college, you know what I'm talking about. You go to parties, you have to buy alcohol. You uh, throw a party, you have to buy alcohol, and it gets really expensive. If you're buying things like Hennessy, uh, tequila, you know, vodka, things like that, they get pricey. And if you're uh, going to parties every week or every weekend, you know, that's really gonna add up. My go-to alcohol was, you know, you go to the cheap alcohols that you know people don't really buy so if you like mixed drinks uh, you know like liquor mixed with uh, 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 anything sweet uh, or juice go with the four local right <laughs> you can never go wrong with that it has I think 13 to 14 percent alcohol and you know it's three dollars I think around that price range right I'm not saying do that I'm just telling you uh, some of the things some of the things you can do to save money if you like wine go buy wine at Walmart right and there's wine that is less than five dollars and it's gonna have the same alcohol percentage as uh, the wine that costs you twenty dollars or thirty dollars right and if you are someone who likes beer like me don't get the expensive beer which is usually imports right beer that's made in other countries and it's imported into the US don't buy that that's usually expensive get the domestics so the first thing was buy the four local it is not expensive and it has 13 to 15 percent alcohol the second thing was buy the cheap wine go to Walmart and look on the bottom shelf you're gonna have wine that has 12, 13 percent alcohol that costs you less than five dollars. And uh, lastly, if you like beer, get the domestic beer that's a lot cheaper. If you're in Texas, uh, get the Lone Star beer. Get uh, this is I don't know if this is an import. This is Coors Light. I like Coors Light. Now the next part is going to be the clothes, right? Everybody wants to look good, right? I get it. Everyone wants to look good, but clothes can get really expensive. They can get really, really expensive. I've seen people buy uh, designer clothes like a shirt from Kanye West for $130. It's a plain t-shirt and it's the same thing that I would get in Walmart. So you need to stay away from those, right? Those are gonna be for when you have a job and you have money, right? And you can actually afford to buy those things and still have money to pay for rent and things like that. So if you're in college, you don't need that. Go ahead and go to Walmart. What I did when I was in college, all my clothes were from Walmart. You know, I would buy, there's a brand called at George. So you have the George shirts, the George shorts, Everything was George. That is a cheap brand you can buy at Walmart and it looks really good. You can get uh, professional clothes, business casual. You can get, um, you know, t-shirts, shirts, shorts, and I would buy this brand in Walmart. So I'd get everything from head to toe. It was George, uh, the George brand. That is one of my favorite brands. It is very cheap and you can find it in almost every Walmart. Now, if you want to take it up in notch and go to H&M, you can find some really nice uh, cheap clothes in H&M. That is what I did. I, I bought clothes at Walmart in H&M. Uh, and you can also go to, if you live in the US and go to Ross, I don't know if it's anywhere else. Their tagline is dress for less. Now, this is different if you are someone who likes sneakers and you buy buy and resell things that means you're gonna be able to maybe make a profit when you when you sell the sneakers and you'll be able to buy some more so that's different if you're doing that keep doing that right but if you're just buying sneakers to buy them and not reselling them and you're paying like $200 for sneakers stop doing that all right the next part is gonna be the place you live which is maybe apartments or dorms so one thing I found out was that dorms are actually more expensive than going to rent out an apartment that is not affiliated with the college right so that is why most colleges make freshmen stay in dorms uh, it might look like they want to help you but they just want to charge you because it costs more than you actually going out there and finding in an apartment and uh, getting roommates right so first things first if you're able to get an apartment and escape the dorms the dorms are great because you get to have uh, they're good for freshmen because you get to have a social life you're closer to um, other people that are new to the college or university now if you are able to get an apartment I would say also get roommates that is gonna cut the rent in half or maybe sometimes even more than half even if you don't like people or living with other people you have to get over that and get a roommate that's gonna say that is gonna save you a lot of money 
If you were gonna pay a thousand dollars for rent and you get a roommate, that's 500. You just cut your cost in half. So the key thing is get an apartment and when you do get roommates, a roommate or roommates. Now the next thing is gonna be food. When it comes to food, eat the ramen. You don't need to be going out to get a steak every night. You don't need to be going out to uh, eat out every night. Eat the ramen is more acceptable when you're in college. You know, eat the ramen. That is going to save you a lot of money. I think ramen costs like 20, 30 cents a packet. And if you eat like two or three of those, you know, you're going to be full. I'm not saying do that every day, but for the most part, eat the ramen. It's acceptable. Like eat the ramen. You're going to be fine. You're going to save a lot of money than actually, you know, getting food on, on, uh, on DoorDash. You know, they're going to charge you like all those fees. You know, you buy something for ten dollars and the, the final cost is like twenty dollars because of the fees that they charge so my recommendation is eat the ramen it's fine get the cheap food it's fine that's what college students do and you're gonna save a lot of money now the next thing is gonna be a car so if you live on campus or if you live on, on in an apartment that is close to campus within walking distance and I know some some colleges have uh, buses or shuttles that would pick students from uh, the, the apartments that are around the university and take them to class. Do that. You don't need a car unless you have a job that where you have that you have to drive to. You don't need a car because a car is going to come with the car payments themselves or it's also it's also going to come with uh, car insurance, right? And that is a lot of money for a college student to be paying. So you don't need a car. If you don't need it, don't get it. All right. So for the last part, this is going to be dates. Right, you're gonna be dating in college. Don't go to the steakhouse because if she or he is in college, they should know how hard it is to save money and get money and uh, you know be able to spend that much money. Go to McDonald's, go to the ice cream shop, go to go to the cheap places. Don't take her to uh, a steakhouse. Of course, do it once in a while. You know, um, you don't want to be cheap, but. At the same time, don't do it every time. Like, you know, every time you want to go out, don't go to the expensive places. Go to McDonald's, right? Go to uh, Burger King. Go to, I don't know, just go to the cheap place. Don't go for the expensive dates. Imagine if you're looking for a boyfriend or girlfriend and you have to go to 10 dates in order to find the one and you're going to a steakhouse every time. You know how much money that is? That is a lot of money to be paying for dates. So now go to the cheap places. It's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. You're in college, you're allowed to. All right, so that is pretty much it when it comes to how to not be a broke college student. Let me know if you guys have done any of these things. If you wanna add anything else to this list, let me know what you think. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.